In my previous video, I demonstrated a simple JavaFX graphical user interface controlling a single LED connected to an Arduino. In this video, the GUI is modified to control multiple LEDs connected to the Arduino. The Scene Builder application is used to create the graphical user interface by dragging and dropping the controls onto the work area. We have here buttons which toggle the red, green and blue LEDs connected to the Arduino. And through this button we can turn on or off all of the LEDs. This slider is used to control the dimming of an LED connected to the Arduino from minimum value to maximum 8-bit value 255 and we have a button here which is used to turn off the LED. The event associated with the slider is on mouse dragged and the name of the event handler is handle slider. Now let's have a look at the Java code. When the user clicks on the uh, button to turn off or on all of the LEDs this event handler will be executed we will have an action event and inside the event handler we will uh, generate a code uh, with a value of 0 and we will send it to the Arduino sketch and inside the Arduino sketch this value will be used to implement a piece of code needed to turn on or off all of the LEDs when the user clicks on the red LED, this event handler will be executed and the code value of 1 will be sent to the Arduino in order to toggle the red LED. When the user clicks on the green LED button, then this event handler will be executed and a code value of 2 will be sent to the Arduino sketch in order to toggle the green LED and also when we click on the blue LED button this event handler will be executed and a code value of 3 will be sent to the Arduino sketch in order to toggle the blue LED. When the user drags the slider this event handler will be executed and the values returned from the slider which are between 5 and 255 keep in mind that the values 0 to 4 are reserved to control the other LEDs. So this range of values are then sent to the Arduino sketch in order to control the dimming of the yellow LED connected to the Arduino. When the user clicks on the yellow LED button, this event handler will be executed and a value of 4 will be sent to the Arduino in order to turn off the uh, yellow LED. And finally, when the user clicks on the quit button, this event handler will be executed and this causes the application to close. Now we look at the Arduino sketch within the loop function and while there's a serial connection between the Arduino and the COM port this while loop will be implemented. When the user clicks a button on the Java GUI a byte will be sent to the Arduino and stored in this variable here. Is If the value is 0 then the three red, green and blue LEDs will be toggled. If the value is 1 the red LED is toggled. 2 the green LED and 3 the blue LED will be toggled. If the value is 4 then the yellow LED will be turned off. If the value is between 5 and 255 then the yellow LED which is connected to the pulse width modulated pin will begin to dim. And now for a quick demonstration. In future videos, more peripherals and sensors will be controlled using JavaFX GUIs. Thank you for watching.